Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and they have finally released the trailer, or a trailer, any trailer, for Scream Season 3. It seems like they're calling it Scream Resurrection, which is interesting. It certainly has risen from the ashes, it seems like, when you think about how long the show has been off the air, how long it's taken for them to bring the show back to TV. So I would have done a regular trailer reaction, like actually me watching it, but it's only 50 seconds long. So I figured I just watched it and now I'm gonna give my thoughts. So I see that it's still gonna be a three night event, which is good, I guess. We already have the episodes shot and put together. We know that there is gonna be three longer form episodes. So they're gonna spread out three nights and it makes more sense to do it three nights just to kind of get it done and over with and not to prolong this, stretch it out for three weeks because let's be honest, who's gonna care? Also, this is airing on VH1 instead of MTV which is also interesting. I don't know what, what exactly went on with MTV in the Scream show. I think it had something to do with the Weinstein company and, and not exactly being obviously in the best position right now. So VH1, okay, we'll see if the presentation's any different. We'll see if they treat the show any better. You see Queen Latifah's name all over the trailer uh, because why not, right? Anyone who recognizes the name will check it out just for that right speaking of names you see mary j blige who they treat like she's going to be the main star but let's be honest she's going to play the mom she's probably only going to be there for a couple of scenes she'll probably get killed off like nothing uh, tiga they show cj wallace they show and then they say introducing paris jackson which is that michael jackson's daughter is she an actress now is she supposed to be the big celebrity that they kill off in the first episode? Because that's the first I remember hearing about her being there. So we'll see what happens. And last but not least, we see that the original voice. Ghostface uh, from the original four movies, Roger L. Jackson, the man who gave us the creepiest voice that was on the other end of that phone. You hear him, so they brought him back which is good. I know that he sounds a little older. Obviously, it's been over 20 years since the first Scream, but it still has that impact. It still has that scariness to him. It's a lot better than whoever they had trying to mimic his voice in the previous two seasons. So honestly, this is good. This is good. I'm not over the moon. I'm not jumping up and down. I'm not saying that this is going to be the greatest thing ever, but I have a feeling whatever this is, it will be better than what we had previously. So guys, let me know in the comments below, what did, did you see this teaser, this trailer, this little 50 second thing? What did you think of it? What do you think of all the new uh, ideas that we have going on? It's on VH1. Do you think it's still going to work? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later. Please won't you save my